We all know gun violence is a big problem in Milwaukee, but now Milwaukee police have the latest technology to help them catch criminals. And tonight we take you inside the city's war on crime. Charles Benson is here to explain. Charles. Well, it's all about being in the right place at the right time, and now Milwaukee police have real-time technology to do it. It all starts with clues as tiny as this bullet casing. Every time a gun is fired, a clue is left on the bullet casing. A clue as obvious as a fingerprint. So if I fire 10 times from the same gun, each of those casings will look identical? Yes, I try to uh, explain it to people by using a fingerprint. It's, it's literally just as accurate as a fingerprint. Officer Malcolm McNeil uses a new computer system called Nibin to find the marks or fingerprints on a bullet shell when a gun is fired. No two guns are alike. It's exciting work. It's, it's something that I see as being uh, cutting edge. And it cuts down on valuable time. McNeil can trace a shell casing from a crime scene to a gun within hours instead of weeks or months. That helps police track the gun back to its owner. Science and speed critical to cops on the street. The power of Niven is that we're able to say within a scientific certainty that these events are connected. Captain Dave Salazar walked us through a recent scenario where police used Niven to connect a gun to nine armed robberies and shootings in Milwaukee. Information collected and processed from the bullet casings quickly connected the crimes and created a pattern that police could follow, giving them valuable time and information to make an arrest. By this point, are you now positioning yes. your team, your officers, where is he going to be next? That's the power of NIVA, is that you're able to, to laser focus your people and arm them with the, the most uh, accurate intelligence to make the best opportunity. Three people were taken into custody and a gun was recovered. In the less than a year that this has been up and running. Correct. How successful has it been? Very successful. The ATF in Milwaukee partners with police and secure the $300,000 in federal money for the newest version of the Nibin system. In March, police ID'd nearly 200 shell casings and 43 were linked to one or more crimes. That's more than double the national average, meaning police and ATF have their work cut out for them. There's a lot of gun crimes recovered, a lot of guns recovered, and we want to focus to bring this technology here to be forward thinking. Now, this type of technology has been around for more than 10 years, but Milwaukee police have the newest version. In fact, Mike and Carol, we are the only city to have it embedded within the police department, and there are only three cities in the country right now that have this, and you can see they're taking full advantage, advantage of it as well as the ATF. It seems to be getting results. It is. Yeah. Pretty incredible. Okay, Thanks, thank Charles. you, Joe.